The Untold Truth of Michelle Obama Ever since her husband was sworn in as the 44th President of the United States in 2009, Michelle Obama was anything but the President's wife. Graduating cum laude from Princeton, then earning her law degree from Harvard, Obama has dedicated her professional and public life to activism and embracing her role as the first Black First Lady with style and grace. We have to admit, her carpool karaoke was pretty cool as well. Now that she no longer resides at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue, her legacy and influence continue to reach millions. Her memoir, Becoming, shot to the bestsellers list, and she was named America's Most Admired Woman in 2018. But there's more to know about Michelle LaVon Robinson Obama. Let's take a closer look at the untold truth of Michelle Obama. Why Michelle Obama's revelation that she had a miscarriage and did IVF matters. The former first lady could help soften the stigma around pregnancy loss and infertility. President Barack Obama and former first lady Michelle Obama are famous for keeping the details of their personal life private. But the Obamas have just gone public with a very intimate and painful struggle. They had a miscarriage and went on to use in vitro fertilization, or IVF, to conceive their two daughters 20 years ago. In an early look at Michelle Obama's new memoir, Becoming, the Associated Press reported that the Obamas turned to IVF after a miscarriage left them feeling alone, failed, and broken. We were trying to get pregnant and it wasn't going well, the former first lady writes. We had one pregnancy test come back positive, which caused us both to forget every worry and swoon with joy, but a couple of weeks later, I had a miscarriage, which left me physically uncomfortable and cratered any optimism we felt. By the time she hit her mid-30s, the former lawyer told ABC's Good Morning America she had a growing awareness that the biological clock is real and egg production is limited. So she sought out IVF treatments from a fertility doctor and began giving herself hormone shots, the AP reported. While her sweet, attentive husband worked at the state legislature, she was left largely on my own to manipulate my reproductive system into peak efficiency. Eventually, Obama became pregnant, first with Malia, who is now 20, and then Sasha, now 17. Millions of Americans now turn to fertility clinics for help having babies, and about 2% of all U.S. births involve some kind of assisted reproductive technology. Miscarriage is also the most common complication of pregnancy, with as many as one in five pregnancies resulting in one. But people often don't talk about these experiences, both because they can be physically and emotionally painful and because of the stigma and lack of awareness about how common they are, that's now rapidly changing. The Obama's revelation comes in the same week that actress Gabrielle Union and her husband Dwayne Wade shared that they had a baby with the help of a surrogate. Senator Tammy Duckworth has also told her miscarriage and IVF story, along with Beyonce, Chrissy Teigen, Khloe Kardashian, and other celebrities. But Michelle Obama's revelation may be particularly influential. With her book tour launching next week, she's poised to help normalize miscarriage and become a powerful voice in a new generation of parents who are opening up about their struggles with infertility. Mrs. Obama said she and Barack Obama underwent fertilization treatments to conceive daughters Sasha and Malia, now 17 and 20. In the memoir, Mrs. Obama also writes openly about everything from growing up in Chicago to confronting racism in public life and becoming the country's first black first lady. She also lets loose a blast of anger at President Donald Trump. She writes in the memoir that Trump's questioning of whether her husband was an American citizen was crazy and mean-spirited, its underlying bigotry and xenophobia hardly concealed, but it was also dangerous, deliberately meant to stir up the wingnuts and kooks. What if someone with an unstable mind loaded a gun and drove to Washington? What if that person went looking for our girls? She writes in the memoir, Donald Trump, with his loud and reckless innuendos, was putting my family's safety at risk. And for this, I'd never forgive him. Trump suggested Obama was not born in the U.S., but on foreign soil. His father was Kenyan. The former president was born in Hawaii. Mrs. Obama also expresses disbelief over how so many women would choose a misogynist over Clinton in 2016. She remembers how her body buzzed with fury after seeing the infamous Access Hollywood tape in which Trump brags about sexually assaulting women. Mrs. Obama also accuses Trump of using body language to stalk Clinton during an election debate. She writes of Trump following Clinton around the stage, standing nearby and trying to diminish her presence. Mrs. Obama launches her promotional tour, Tuesday not at a bookstore, but at Chicago's United Center, where tens of thousands of people have purchased tickets, 
from just under $30 to thousands of dollars, to attend the event moderated by Oprah Winfrey. Barack Obama proposed to another woman before Michelle. Many of us think of the Obamas as the ultimate power couple, a beautiful and real love story that has never not existed. But of course, this is real life, and both Michelle and Barack Obama came with a romantic past of their own when they met. Barack Obama previously dated a woman named Sheila Miyoshi Jager while he was living in Chicago, as detailed in a 2017 biography of the 44th president, Rising Star, by David J. Garrow, via The Washington Post. It wasn't an easy relationship, with Jaeger admitting that Barack largely kept her out of his professional life. Still, it was serious, and Barack reckoned it had staying power. In the winter of 86, when we visited my parents, he asked me to marry him, Jaeger told Garrow, via the Washington Post. But her parents were concerned, thinking it was too soon for them. They had many differences, but the future president would propose once more, before they finally broke things off. Jaeger is a professor of East Asian Studies at Oberlin College in Ohio, who has published several books, as well as participating in documentaries and writing articles for Outlet Politico. Michelle Obama refused to go out with Barack Obama at first. When Barack Obama, fresh out of his first year at Harvard Law School, joined Michelle Obama's law firm for the summer, she was assigned to be his mentor, and dating was the farthest thing from her mind. She even tried to set him up with one of her friends. I'd gone out with a couple of guys in law school but hadn't met anyone special upon turning to Chicago and had little interest anyway. I'd announced to everyone, including potential suitors, that my career was my priority. I did, though, have plenty of girlfriends who were looking for someone to date, she writes in Becoming, describing how she brought him along to a happy hour, where he had a fairly disastrous conversation with a friend of hers. But Barack was set on Michelle, and he didn't want to give up. I asked her out. She refused. I kept asking. She kept refusing, he wrote for Oprah.com. I'm your advisor, she said. It's not appropriate. Finally, I offered to quit my job, and at last she relented. They went on a first date that became the stuff of myths and Hollywood movies. They argued about whether or not to get married, but at last Barack proposed, and the lovebirds tied the knot in 1992 per brides. 25 years later, we're still having fun while also doing the hard work to build our partnership and support each other as individuals, Michelle wrote on Instagram in 2018. In Becoming, Michelle Obama got raw about the fertility issues that made having kids difficult and impacted on her life with her husband. So it was an even more special moment for both of them when Malia Obama was born in 1998, closely followed by her sister Natasha Sasha Obama in 2001. Since then, Barack Obama has often spoken about how important his daughters are to him and how proud he is of them. Happy 4th of July and happy birthday, Malia! Obama wrote on Instagram for the young woman's birthday in 2021. It's been such a joy to watch you begin to make your own way in the world with poise, grace, and humor. I miss the days when you thought the fireworks were for you. Speaking to Jimmy Kimmel, Obama also joked about being scared of his youngest. The reason is because Sasha is a mini Michelle, and I'm afraid of Michelle, and Sasha basically has the same look and the same attitude, he said. Uh, Malia is more like me temperamentally. In 2020, Sasha made waves on the internet when she popped up in various TikTok videos that unsurprisingly went viral. 